But right now, she is our lone returnee here on Red's Room tonight. She's been on this program. She's a vital part of our Spotlight, our community, as well as well as the Red's Room community. We're so grateful to have her with us. She is coming to us from Springfield, Massachusetts. She was born and raised in Soviet Union in a small Siberian village in a non-Christian family. There was always music going on in their home. Her dad was a local DJ, always finding ways to get latest records of famous bands from America or Europe, which was not easy to get in times of Soviet Union. She grew up under constant communism when anything related to God or Christianity was portrayed in a negative way. Her childhood, though, was very colorful and bright, didn't know any difference. At 15, she left the house to pursue her passion for music. She got accepted into a special program in a music college designed for kids from villages with no or little music background to teach them some music and to ship them back to their village. She wrote her first song in college. She hated her piano lessons so much, she says, that she swore she would never touch the piano keys again after she completed her piano course. <laughs> That's right, Lord had other plans, didn't he? Uh -huh. Well, you can't get her away from the piano now. Uh, Faith had never been on her radar up until her second year of college. When on top of a terrible recession, following the fall of the Soviet Union, circumstances hit hard, prompting her to seek the meaning of her own life. She came to Christ when she was 16 and knew instantly that God was exactly what she was missing in her life. She joined a praise and worship team and had been serving on different praise and worship teams since then. It was a very progressive, loud, happy, and lively church that really helped her to build trust in God, to pray hard, to seek the Lord, and to be grateful in the midst of chaos. She met her future husband at the end of his Bible school curriculum. Upon graduation, he left to another town to help his friend build a new church, got married two years later, and she joined him, serving at that church. People were hungry for God, and the church grew despite facing resistance from the local Orthodox church and government. She came to America in 1998 and joined the praise and worship team right away. She also conducted three kids music bands at her older church, participated in the New England Music Festival, and were always placing amongst other children's music bands from different music schools. She wrote some songs through the years. She was able to share them with her congregation. She currently plays keyboard. <laughs> See, it comes back full circle. Keyboard, right? She's playing after <laughs> she swore them off. She's playing keyboard at Life Point Church in Chicopee, Massachusetts. 2023, of course, we all know it became a breakthrough year for her when God really stirred her to record her songs professionally. And at first, she did not. I say again, ha, 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 ha. Got other ideas. She did not want to share them publicly. After some convincing from her, her first producer to release the songs publicly, she agreed. And uh, the rest, of course, as we know, is history. She's performing, writing, collaborating like crazy now. Olga Gavrilov, welcome to the program. Hello, my friend. How are you this evening? Hello, hello. So glad to be back, guys. <laughs> And look what's in front of you once again. That's right, a keyboard. <laughs> Your friend, the keyboard. keyboard. Yes. <laughs> Ready to do some music for us. Uh, what has uh, kept you busy in this last little bit of time, Olga, since you last were here with us? Uh, so since the last time, you know, really not much happened since the last time. Um, and it's fine. I guess, you know, summer, I got busy with other stuff, you know, hiking and my uh, garden, you know, tomatoes and cucumbers. <laughs> so, um, and really like something changed. So I'm really kind of waiting for uh, what's next, you know, like I don't want to do something just because of me, but something is really cooking, you know, so um, we'll see. Yeah, I'm doing some collaboration right now um uh, but that's all for now and uh but I, i'll well. be around and i and i and i think i think i was on here last as well when she was last on here because she did a song out dedicated uh to red and i think she did a song dedicated out to me as well which was you think none of us none of us knew they were coming none of us knew they were coming <clears throat> spud did but yes, it was it was a fantastically well done version, by the way. 
Thank you. But it was fun. absolutely awesome. It was a fantastic surprise you had cooked up for Red and for myself there, uh, illustrating your diverse musical talents that you can take a song that you really weren't familiar with and just learn it like you've been playing it for years. So, uh, well that done. <laughs> well done. Awesome. Um, so your first song tonight, what do you have for us? So as you mentioned, so last time I dedicated two of my songs to you guys as a gratitude because you don't really get to play songs that you like. So last time it was Red and you, Joe. So this time <clears throat> I am doing two songs for uh, my sister Elizabeth. Oh, <laughs> turn them out. It's fair play. <laughs> for um elizabeth and for um lisa for my friend lisa from this um community yeah. from this family so with elizabeth that was a little bit of a challenge uh, to pick a song because at first i thought um to do one of her favorite artists which is what we all know matthew west <laughs> yeah but but on one of the hangouts, she specifically asked Olgi to play this song. Do you remember which one? <laughs> By any chance? <laughs> oh, possibly. It's fine. So um, it is the um, uh, Scroll Revival. <laughs> No! <laughs> <laughs> oh my, uh, my word yes exactly exactly <laughs> so i have to say that you know are you, my are you english... really gonna play this right now <laughs> yeah my english improved after learning right. so many songs uh yeah trying to trying to pronounce so fast so you know i actually uh give so much credit to my rapper friends yeah. uh, pcm and um young soja <clears throat> you know there's like a lot of uh rappers out there uh, i honestly i have no idea how they yeah. do it like this is a nightmare i don't know why elizabeth asked me to do this song <laughs> please don't <laughs> So I don't have a bandana and I don't have a hoodie, guys. So, but I'm gonna try to rap, you know. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, good. Okay. So this is the moment. <laughs> the moment of truth. Right. Right. Oh, is, here Elizabeth it is. is. Is even on? Elizabeth, you better be watching. It says she's watching. Yeah. Okay. I am sweating. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she must have just caught. You know, she must have just caught on. Uh, Elizabeth goes on the Facebook. Olki, what are you doing? <laughs> right, right. Well, that's her fault. She challenged me, and I accepted the challenge. You accepted the challenge of the Squirrel Revival song, there, Elizabeth. Yes. You called her out, and um, oh boy, here's the. Tale. I couldn't do the entire song. I, I couldn't do all three parts. <laughs> Please forgive me. Daniel <laughs> says, OMG, what happened to shy Olga? It's a thing. <laughs> that's, that's long gone. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> when I was a kid, I'd take a trip every summer down to Mississippi to visit my granny in her antebellum world. I would run barefooted all day long, climbing trees, free as a song. One day I happened to catch myself a squirrel. Well, I stuffed him down in an old shoe box and I punched a couple holes in the top. One Sunday came, I snuck him into church. While I was sitting way back in the very last pew, showing him to my good buddy Hugh, when the squirrel got loose and went totally berserk. What happened next is hard to tell Some thought it was heaven, others thought it was hell But the fact that something was among us was planned to see As the choir sang, I surrender all The scroll ran up, Harv Newland's coveralls He leaped to his feet and said, 
Something got hold on me! The day that squirrel went berserk in the first self righteous church in that sleepy little town of Pascagoula. The group of fight for survival that broke out in revival. They were jumping, pews and shouting, Hallelujah! Well, seven deacons and then pastor got saved and twenty-five thousand dollars got raised and fifty volunteer for mission in the Congo on the spot and even without an invitation there were at least 500 rededication and we all got rebaptized whether we need it or not now you heard the Bible story, I guess, how he parted the waters for Moses to pass and the miracles God has brought to this old world. But the one I'll remember to my dying days, how he put the church back on a narrow way with a heart praise and the Mississippi squirrel. The day that squirrel won berserk in a first self-righteous church in that sleepy little town of Pascagoula. That broke out in revival They were jumping pews and shouting Hallelujah! The faith that squirrel won't berserk In the first self-righteous church In that sleepy little town of Pascagoula It was a fight for survival That broke out in revival They were jumping pews and shouting Hallelujah! We're jumping, pews and shouting, hallelujah! Oh yes, that, that was an excellent payoff. I absolutely loved it. Awesome version, Olga. Whew. Shiloh says, uh, woohoo, go Olga, this is awesome, so good. Linda, full of clapping there. God bless you, says Margarita. Oh my goodness, awesome, says Linda Bowles. Uh, Daniel Curtis, over here from this little, says R O F L. I'm laying on the floor, rolling on the floor, <laughs> laughing. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> of course, Elizabeth. Oh, look at this. She says, I love you, Olga, but I so don't remember <laughs> challenging you to this song. Of course, she doesn't. Uh huh. Mm hmm. I'm sure we'll dig up the proof here soon. Uh, Juan uh, Montoya says, awesome. Uh, awesome. So, so good. Uh, Whitney D's Hotel, good evening to you. Um, Linda says, what a uh, story um, of her journey along the way. So excited to hear Olga's music. Yes, indeed. Uh, awesome stuff there. Loved every second of that. Such a fantastic, fun song. Great version. Well done, Olga. Well done. Yeah, so any rappers um, willing to feature me, you know, I can rap now. <laughs> hopefully, John, John's kid who is tuning in, hopefully she, hopefully they love that one. Uh, John says, that was a premium 20 out of 10. Loved it. <laughs> Loved it. Uh, Bianca you. says, that was really good. I'll have to challenge you to learn one of my favorite songs next oh time. Oh, my God. <laughs> she accepts requests. <laughs> yeah. You know. Just have know mercy on me, please. <laughs> um, but, yeah, you said you have another one now. This one, what what one did you perhaps uh, pick out for, for Lisa now? Uh, for Lisa, so she sent me a few um, options just in case if i decide to do one of the songs that she loves um so this song is hold me jesus and i oh. think it really fits oh. um her and i think like everybody because we all get into the moment when we're just hopeless really you know it just all you can say just hold me jesus you know and lisa she's <clears throat> She's such a good friend and stuff that she's going through, uh, she's still able to cheer me up and uh, say something uh, positive and pray for me. It, I really, really treasure that, you know? So, so this song is for Lisa and for everybody, of course.
Sometimes my life just don't make sense at all When the mountains look so big And my faith just seems so small So hold me Jesus Cause I'm shaking like a leaf You have been king of my glory you be my prince of peace and I wake up in the night and feel the dark it's so hot inside my soul I swear there must be blisters on my heart so hold me Jesus I'm shaking like a leaf You have been king of my glory Won't you be my prince of peace? So hold me Jesus Cause I'm shaking like a leaf You have been king of my glory Won't you be my prince of peace? Surrender, don't come natural to me I'd rather fight you for something I don't really want Than to take what you give that I need And I beat my head against so many walls And I'm falling down, I'm falling on my knees Salvation Army been playing this hymn And this grace rings out so deep It makes my resistance seem so thin So hold me Jesus Cause I'm shaking like a leaf You have been king of my glory Won't you be my Prince of Peace So hold me Jesus Cause I'm shaking like a leaf You have been King of my glory Won't you be my Prince Of Peace This is Hold Me Jesus by Rick Mullins. Great cover there. Fantastically, brilliantly done there, Olga. Um, you did that cover justice. Fantastic done. Fantastically done there. Uh, as far as the squirrel goes, Yang, who's um, chiming in on Facebook. Oh, I really loved it. See, I told you it wasn't that hard. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Whitney D's Hotel is a great song, beautiful cover. Lisa chiming in. She says, one of my top two favorites, just crying on the bathroom floor when I tore my spinal cord nerve in 2002. Olgi, you're one of my sweetest friends. This interpretation is awesome. Can never thank you enough, says Lisa. Oh, Shiloh Salmi, this is so beautiful. Olga, I love this song and your voice is so perfect for it. So much passion and feeling. It makes this song new again for me. So well done. Mm. Yes, indeed. Mm. Oh, Gavrilov just did a great Rich Mullins cover of Hold Me Jesus right here on the Saturday edition of Red Zoom. That's why you got to tune in each and every week. You never know what's going to happen here on this particular program. Um, so what's going to be coming up around the corner for you? Going to be doing more, some more collaborating, more songwriting, more, you know, worship leading on Sundays, a little bit of all of it. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm I'm open for anything, but we'll see. I'm sure that God has a lot of things for me in store. I'm just waiting. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Nothing wrong with those seasons of waiting, you know. And I'm enjoy <laughs> just enjoying my summer and enjoying my uh, okay. collaboration. So uh, soon, the the song. 
that um, I was collaborating with a um, young soldier from uh, Zambia. Uh, so hopefully it will be out pretty soon. Nice. <laughs> so just wait. I love that song. See, Daniel, Daniel Curtis was, was loving the first song so much. He was... <laughs> He was asking for another rap song. <laughs> well, um, send me your request. Okay. There you go. Oh, all right. <laughs> if you if you've got one for her to do, Daniel, feel free to suggest. <laughs> uh, what's the next song you do have for us on the lineup tonight, Olga? So uh, the next is actually the set of uh, just three songs, <laughs> uh, and. Uh, so those three songs are the songs that my all-time favorite. When I came to Christ, those songs really touched my heart. And when I really um, heard them, and when I was singing, I always singing them in, Rus uh, in Russian. So when I came to America, and to my surprise, I heard those same songs in English. I'm like, wow, I always thought, you know, they're just Russian songs. <laughs> so apparently it was just translated to Russian, you know. So it just made me to um, appreciate and connect to uh, those songs on a uh, bigger level. <clears throat> so I'm not going to tell you what songs I'm going to sing. So like it was very hard to pick uh, songs because I have a good list of my favorite songs uh, but it's just gonna be three okay all right guys <clears throat> Господь, Он прав, ведь с неба земля в любви, и в силе в победе наш Бог, всемогущий Господь, наш Бог, всемогущий Господь, Он прав, ведь с неба земля в любви, и в силе в победе наш Бог, всемогущий Господь, our God is an awesome God, He reigns from heaven above with me, some power and love, our God is an awesome Всемогущий 
worship set in Russian and in English. Right. Love that worship mashup there, uh, Olga. So awesome stuff. And Lisa said, awesome God, another one by Rich Mullins. That's my night. Uh, I've heard it in Navajo, now in Russian. Mm -hmm. She was actually the one to tell me that uh, the author, author of this song is Rick Mullins as well because I thought it was Michael W. Smith. <laughs> mm, he did that one too. Yeah, right. <laughs> there are a lot of great versions of that song. Yeah, right. how wonderful! Praise the Lord, says uh, Linda. So lovely. Mm. I have an artist that used to be on a lot when I first started Red's Room. Red said that on the same songs that she would do English, Spanish, and Hebrew and mix them up in the same songs. So uh, we're glad that you're able to do the same in English and in Russian. Shiloh says, so beautiful, brought tears to my eyes. Yes. Uh, Yang Soja says, awesome God in Russian. This is so amazing. Mm, indeed. So great to have Olga joining us here on Red's Room 365th show here tonight on the Saturday night. So great. You could all spend part of your Saturday night with us here on the program. Um, we have one more song here coming up from Olga here in just a second. Uh, any musical influences that are inspiring you nowadays? Um, <clears throat> I listen to so much music, really, and I like all different styles. Uh, really a lot uh, but this past year especially I really listened to a lot of um, indie artists just to kind of to get away a little bit from the mainstream and just appreciate um, <clears throat> what independent artists do how they think and you just like kind of understand like wow you know we all think the same uh we we all dream the same you know so i just wanted to give credit to um independent artists really Amen. and we're so glad to have olga's voice among the many with us tonight here on red's room what is the fourth and final song you have to share with us olga before we head into our outreach tonight so final song is gonna be my song. Uh, so I never played that song on Red's Room before, um, <clears throat> but I mean, it's been out there for a while and it's called Thank You God. And I actually have the shirt, Thank You God. Look at that, <laughs> got the merch going on there, yeah. yeah. Uh, so this is actually my husband, Eugene. So he gave me that um, t-shirt, very special. Um, yeah, so I am, just really grateful um, to God just for simple things, really, that we have air to breathe, we have roof, and we have food on the table, um, <clears throat> and we have electricity, and we have hot water, because not everybody in this world have it. <clears throat> it's true. Yeah, and I am grateful for you guys again and again 
uh, that you just keep your mission going, just uh, making this family uh, so big. And like, thank to you, I honestly, I met so many great people, not just musicians or singers or artists, just great people, you know what I mean? Uh, simple people who love God and um, who, who are willing to share their gift that God given. Yeah. All right, so thank you, God. <clears throat> Thank you, God. Olga Gavrilov, right here on Red's Room. Olga, tell us some of the many ways that we can connect up with you and follow your musical journey however we can. Uh, you can find me on any music platform. Um, <clears throat> and you can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Instagram. Just type my name. Um, you can find me on Russian websites, too. <laughs> yeah. So I am everywhere, really. So enjoy the music and let this music bring you closer to God. Amen. Amen. 
Thank you to the many people who are watching tonight. Getting you getting to hear you play your new song, Thank You God, makes me love it even more, says Yang. So beautiful, Olga. Olga, you have an amazing gift, says Monica. Great job, Olga, says Shiloh Song Music. Um, in America, a famous saying to fantastic artists, Lisa says, is you could sing the phone book. That'd be good. Yes, I do remember that saying. Yes. Uh, thank you, God. So heartfelt and touching blessings to you, Olga, says Linda. Ah, amen. Let's pray for Olga before we head into our last guest musically, Marty Drosh, standing by also Daniel Curtis about ready to bring the word tonight. Hopefully he's ready. He's standing by. He's chomping at the bit to give us some good word tonight. Let us pray for Olga before we head there, though. Lord, we just thank you for Olga. We just thank you for, for her being a, such a vital, encouraging, wonderful part of the Reds Room community and of the Spotlighter community as well. We just thank you for her encouragement. We thank you that you'll continue to fill her with the melodies, the lyrics, the songs needed to touch people's hearts and inspire people in their walk of faith. We thank you for continuing to inspire her in her musical journey. We thank you for the amazing testimony that she has and that she uses it to inspire others through how she lives and loves in her life. We thank you that you're continuing to provide for her and take care of her personally and professionally as you do all of our musicians on here. We just thank you for the gift of music that you've given her. And after years of swearing off the piano, we are so glad, Lord, that you had other plans in mind, that you brought her back to the gift of piano, that you brought her back to the gift of music, and that you were using it in ways that I'm sure she could never thought possible. We thank you for giving her that gift, and we just thank you for continuing to utilize it and continue to bring it forward. We just thank you for everything you're doing. In Jesus' mighty name, we have done our doing and are about to do. Amen and amen. Guys, thank you so much. I'm so thank happy you, to Olga. be back. <laughs> you are the best. We all love and appreciate you, Olga. Thank you for being with us tonight here on Red's Room. Oh, what a great night so far. 